food easily puts me into the vortex. There's a conflict of knowing what is appropriate, not appropriate, because they both feel good. Well, the, the first thing that's happening in this conversation is that you are assigning behavior with results. Yeah. And, and then wanting to judge the behavior as right and wrong, good and bad. And so let's go back to that. You're wanting to equate behavior with results. And we want to equate vibration with results. If you didn't have judgment about what's good and bad about food, then your experience, the results that you would get from it would be different. Always the manifestation as it is occurring in what you call your reality is an indicator of what you've been offering vibrationally. In other words, what you think and what you feel, and what manifests always match. We always ask people to look at a manifestation and tell us how that manifestation feels. For example, if someone breaks their leg, we say, mm -hmm. what does it feel like to have a broken? We don't say, what does it feel like to break your leg? We say, now that you have that manifestation, what does a broken leg feel like? And usually a person will say, well, it is hindering it slows me down it's awkward it's it's maddening it's irritating and then we say can can you acknowledge with us that all of those things that you are now more pointedly able to articulate now that you have a broken leg can you acknowledge that you felt every one of those things before you had a broken leg when you have more weight on your body than you are comfortable with we ask you that you've got this manifestation we ask you in as simple terms as you can what does that feel like what does it feel like to be carrying around more weight than you want? what does that feel like so then we say apart from your weight would you say that that is a way you have been acknowledging aspects of your life what we're getting at is the, the the manifestation the unpleasing to you manifestation is a byproduct of an unpleasing vibration that you were offering but you didn't recognize it when it was in the emotional in other words gotcha. a lot of people will put up with negative emotion and, and we always say if you've got negative emotion which is a pure indication of resistance and you don't know it for what it is and do something about releasing it don't worry it will get bigger <laughs> mm -hmm. and if you still don't do something about it don't worry it will get bigger and if you still don't do something about it it will get bigger and so you are a walking talking breathing living manifestation of the way you feel in all regards you see and so that's wow. why we want you to think about it in terms of vibration not in terms of behavior a person could sit as you will tonight with beautiful food put before you and and you could say no thank you to the dessert as it is offered to you and feel deprivation at not allowing yourself to enjoy it and there is as much resistance in your vibration as there would be if you ate it and felt guilty about it in other words it doesn't matter if your resistance is around the word guilt or if your resistance is around the word word deprivation is still resistant and you're still not allowing your right. the cells of your body to have the communication that they want in order to perform in the way you want them to it's a vibrational game you're playing not a behavioral game food takes you into the vortex and yet you're not sure or you actually are sure that that some of the food that you're eating is not beneficial to you we wanted to say to that lovingly blah 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 because you're just not going to get anywhere on that conversation look how many millions of conversations and hundreds of thousands of books have been written we're surprised any of you can find anything to eat 
because there's something wrong from somebody's point of view with all of it in other words it's full of this and it's full of this and oh when you get those combinations together or forget it in other, in other words it's not about what you're eating it's about how you feel while you're eating it and and sometimes it becomes what you feel about what you're eating in other words it can it can escalate into that where you're actually making judgments about what you're eating and so you're having strong negative feelings about what you're eating but it's not about what you're eating it's about how you feel while you're eating but it's also about how you feel when you're not eating it's about how you feel 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 it's not about how you feel about what you're eating and it's not even so much about how you feel when you're eating it's about how you feel it's about how you feel in regards to how your physical body is manifesting it is almost always an indication that you've got your mind on yourself and the opinion that you have about yourself is a negative opinion if you will get your eye on the vortex version and you will seek to come into alignment with the feeling of that vortex version you will feel good now regardless of what the scale says you'll feel good now regardless of what the scale says mm -hmm. you'll feel good now food easily puts me into the vortex it's about how you feel it's about how you feel. It's about how you feel.